chance here. And here's a charge. Over the line. Feeds it toward the net. A charge. And it's a touchdown! Oh, Thomas Thomas. Ten seconds to go! Unbelievable! A bouncing puck! And now Saracino breaks out over the line. Shovels to McSweeney down low. They score. Ross Mallon in from Paul to Jersey. Great setup to Jersey. Top of the right circle. Fed it down low. It's goal number nine of the year for Ross Mallerman. Bouncing puck control by Providence. And Gilmore has a goal here for Providence. We talked about all the freshmen on this team and a shot and a score. And Providence is on top again. This young Providence team has come to Durham and they're in front and it is the second of the game for freshman Nick Saracino. Well, just a moment ago he sent Jankowski in and this time he makes a great dump in or the Providence makes a great dump in and then they go to work and win a battle and that came through I think a little bit of traffic into Smith might have just missed it but a great pass out of the corner for the shot. The key to the whole play was the dump in. The dumping was behind the net. It was That's another interesting aspect of this. UNH is the sixth least penalized team in the nation. I think they're averaging about nine penalty minutes per game, and this is already their fourth penalty of this game. Out in front, rebound, out, loose, scramble, score! Saraceno does it to the wild. I believe Nick Saracino likes playing against the UNH Wildcats. <laughs> That's just hard work. They, they won the battle there. They outmanned the puck in front of the net. Got three bodies to the front. And they all had a whack at it. Great look right there. Going through the box again. And then it's just hard work. Three on three and they win the battle. And Saracino puts Providence ahead. Three, What's two. What's new? <laughs> 11 on the season for Saracino. Seven of them against the University of New Hampshire. And we're going to have a timeout call as the University of New Hampshire. Wildcats zone fires win at Saracino. A shot off the faceoff. That hit Luke. Luke's got it behind the net. Tries a wrap around. It comes loose up the slot. One timer by Gilmore. Scores! Johnny Gilmore. Jumped on a loose puck, top of the left circle, fired it home with a screen in front of the Smith. And with 6.33 to go in the second, the Flyers take a 2-0 lead. Gilmore. Providence holding on the man advantage, 48 to go. Gilmore looks back door, the follow-up score, another power play goal for Providence. This does not happen against UNH too often this year. The Friars two for two on the power play to even the game at two. Well, the puck movement by Providence has been a big part of this. They, they have not let UNH set up and establish really good inside positioning and inside lanes on them because of the constant motion of the puck by PC. Just a good little sauce in the front of the net. Look at the traffic in front of the net. You know, we talked about UNH getting traffic. Providence gets some traffic here. And the Smith just gets overwhelmed. PC just went to the net to Jersey. But they have been able to kill penalties, especially here at home, at an alarmingly great rate because of the fact that they can use the size of the rink to their advantage and they know how to play it. Providence tries to work it around. Oh, on the back door. Score! The number one penalty kill in the country has given up a goal. Providence jumps out to a 1-0 lead. Now the downside of it is when you leave the back door open. And that's what happened here. And Providence does a great job at, at gaining possession and gaining the line and then getting things set up. And as they go to work, anytime you can get a pass through the box, it generally means trouble. And, and here Providence does a little zip through and up and over. And there's that back door play. And, you know, Gumas as the weak side forward got down low, but Gilmore is able to slide behind. He would score late in the third period to make it 3-1. Friars on a power play now in the third. Here comes freshman Nick Saracino. He rips one home for his sixth of the year, but that's as close as Providence would get. Paul to Jersey leads a three on three to Jersey. From the wing, shot saved. Rebound deflected off a of foot and in. I think it is Ross Mowerman, and it is 1 0 Providence. 
gaining it out to neutralize over center Paul to Jersey into the offensive zone with Jankowski. Loose puck with the body flying there. Here's Gilmore, the quick pass, score! Beautiful feed as he got it to Saraceno, and Saraceno makes it a 2-0 lead for the Friars. Just good work everywhere on this play. Great entry, good work, winning the battle on the side of the boards, and a great look by Gilmore with the slap pass to Saraceno, who shows some good patience taking this to the far side into the open net. But a wonderful look. One-on-one -on -one play, center and shot, score! Ross Marlman trailed late. Great job by Luke, he had eyes in the back of his head. Fires third power play of the period. Army shot, misses out front, score! Nick Saraceno, that took a fire bounce right out front. And the freshman gets his second in as many games. As we get a look. There's a shot by Ami. A lot of scrambling in front. Saraceno's right there. And that's where you need to be. You gotta Trying to work it past Hardo up ice into the zone. Luke goes after it. Back around behind the net. Luke wants to center. Does for a shot and a score. Tanev buries the centering pass from Shane Luke. Tanev came off the bench and was unchecked. And the Fires have a 2-0 lead. To center ice. But you want to talk about being on your heels. That's where the Fires are. And Saraceno... A steal with Marlman kept in. Saraceno, shot, score! Nick Saraceno gives the Flyers the lead on this shot. Top of the left circle. As Pesci turns out of the left corner, banks it off the end boards. Shane Luke now replacing Chris Rooney. Able to tie it up. Now Saraceno to the net, shot, score! Nick Saraceno took the puck, bottom of the right circle, fired it over the shoulder of Casey DeSmith. And 2.06 into the second period. Fires have a 1 0 lead. Back for Saraceno into the zone with some speed. Saraceno walks it across for front. He scores.